It has been nearly eight months since Kristen Lebruno and Anthony 25 the third died in this South Buffalo crash involving a Maserati. Good evening to you. I'm Ashley Rowe. Tonight, the 7 Eyewitness News I team learning new information about the main suspect and questions about how and what happened to key evidence. Our Ed Dranch working his sources tonight. Eight months after this deadly crash in South Buffalo that killed Christian Lebruno and Anthony 25 the third, the 7 Eyewitness News I team has learned from a police source. The main suspect, Antonio D. Brown, is working on a plea deal with the Erie County District Attorney's Office. The exact terms of that agreement are unclear, as the DA's office will only say this case is still under investigation. Police say Brown was driving drunk when he crashed on Seneca Street at Pomona Place in October. He was driving a 2008 Maserati. Back in November, the I-Team reported police had a search warrant, giving them permission to take the black box from the Maserati, looking for more information about the deadly crash. A source close to the investigation told the I-Team then the black box had been sent to Italy for examination. Now there are questions about what was actually taken from the car as evidence and if it was ever sent to Italy. A police source tells the I-Team the 2008 Maserati Brown was driving was manufactured before before there was a requirement to have black boxes or event data recorders in cars. Beyond that, the I-Team is told what was taken was thought to be the black box, but was a different device, and Buffalo police were unable to recover any crash data from that device. The I-Team asked the DA's office if that device was ever sent overseas. A spokesperson said they cannot comment on evidence. Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Rinaldo would not speak with me on camera and would only say the department has sent the results of its investigation to the DA's office. The 7 Eyewitness News I-Team has filed a lawsuit against the Buffalo Police Department looking for the application used to get that search warrant in the Maserati case. The department is refusing to release that documentation despite being told by the city's attorney to do so, the case is now moving its way through the legal system. For the I-Team Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.